Yeah. 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 Yes. I think I like it. Hello everyone, today I'm going to create one of these ASMR videos, you know, ASMR, ambient, whatever you choose to call it, think about those videos where you see a fireplace and you can stare at it for a full hour or 10 hours, I don't know. Uh, this is something that demands a situation with great visuals and beautiful sound and as it turns out Minecraft can deliver both so that's the plan I'm going to build everything in Minecraft I'll effectively make that video and place it on YouTube but this video here is about the making of it the sounds for such a video will have to be nice calming and subtle so no cats or sheep I have done careful research into this. Let's have a look. So music is interesting, weather out. No hostile creatures. 100. 100. I don't know. Okay, let's hear it. That's too far. This sound. That's good. That's far nicer than a cat. Uh oh, I'm very sorry. Don't look at me like that. It was no purpose. So I'm Can they escape this? I don't think so. Let's have two bees. Hello! They escaped. Stand in their way. But no! Hello! The moment you start working with animals or villagers, you start having problems. So it turns out bees aren't any better. Hello, just come in. Couldn't you really fly over it? Yes, I got them. Ha. They're one of the nicest blocks that came with the previous update and they make a wonderful sound and that's really I mean you can make an ambient video with campfires alone one moment please one moment dear viewers I'm uh, going back to the drawing board be back in a second huh So if I stand here, beautiful, does it has have to be filled? No, not for the sound. So you know what's next? Of course you do. Come, come, nice little carrot, come. What do you mean? You can't jump. Of course you can, come here. It's it's a carrot. What's your problem? Hello? Come have a carrot. Come, come. You know you want it. All right, now here. Come. Where are you? Uh Yes. This is not the soothing sound of a mountain river. This is the annoying sound 
of your kitchen running under water. It's not here. Oh, yes, it is here. But does it make? Anyway, that works. I can use it. And as an added bonus, that thing is nice to look at. So, oh no, 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 that's too much. That's not gonna work. But you know the idea, ladies and gentlemen. I think we found a problem. These things are stupid. They're just like squids, they die. That's not gonna make a nice video. Let's have a nice ambient video and watch animals dying. You know, water does make a nice sound, but you have to be... ...under it. Hmm. I think we have s we have all the material. I think we're ready to move to phase three. Building a scene. That's also the challenge. I have to integrate all of this. What's the axolotl doing behind me? Do these things come out of the water? Have you seen that? It's in I'm back. Like this. It has changed ponds. I didn't know that. Alright, here we are. I'm going to start building at this place. We're going to improve the pond and make it a really nice place. Let's begin. This is going to be a first time-lapse. Alright, that was a quick fix for that pond. This is the mere beginning. What I imagine now is I want to have 
hanging plants, those fantastic glowberries, these will make a good light source and then possibly those lanterns or one of those lanterns can disappear. But to have that, I have to have something where it can hang from. And I'm thinking about an arch. Do we build something that goes over the pond? Maybe in two directions? Or will that be just too much? We will not know if we don't do it. Alright, we have brought some light to the place. Uh, the next thing I'm thinking about, if you want to make one of these ambient videos, you need movement. And what better movement than nice particles? And we have a few possibilities here. The main one will be the new block, the spore blossom, which will create a magnificent effect, but let's not forget about ender chests. Let's see what these do. I'm going to conveniently hide a few of these ender chests. Is it hidden from... I don't know. Uh, it is now. Up. Maybe even here, because this is my point of view, you do not see the ender chests, but already we can see the particles, maybe even here. Oh, yes, yes, that's nice. And now for the 117 edition, these guys. That will liven up the place. Oh god, look at it. It's beginning to tape, to take shape. We need a lot more objects to make all of this interesting. And then we need to add these sounds. And that's gonna be a problem. But for now, we're going to tactically delay our problems. Good. Chests. Chests are simply nice blocks to look at and they have something of a promise. A nice chest is a promise. An expectation. So let's play some. There we are. One here, 
one here and maybe we can have another chest in view why indeed not and why not in the middle on a pillar of very nice blocks do we have tiled deep slate deep slate tiles it's called okay works for me there we are oh yes taking a prominent place oh yes very beautiful let's make it day again or will that actually mess up my time lapse yes but we're gonna continue through the night uh, so this is good now we have to go over here and fill up the background make sure that stuff is happening well when when we're glad with the foreground and this is not done yet let's first draw our attention again to the pond it needs life not too much because these things make a bit of a noise but we want some noise so that's good as long as it's not exaggerated now that i come to think about it i want some more mossy cobblestone in my pond it's just too nice a block Do we try to place one glow squid in here? Why not? It can die. That's all that can happen. There we are. It's so gonna die. Maybe, just maybe, and that's let me dress my audience that's like a brilliant idea we need a random generator that adds glowstone squids at a very slow pace more or less the same rate at the rate at which they manage to kill themselves that's brilliant now how am i gonna do this getting there getting there background now that's gonna be handful that's gonna be a new time lapse
all right we have moved up we have made nice progress there is a cart running around in the back it brings more and more life to this situation that's exactly what we want uh, it's also not enough it's not enough by far and I'm getting my feet wet but that's fine look the next I'm drowning that's no longer fine okay next I'm going to add some extra light and some extra nice sounds I'm gonna begin with adding more life and at the same time adding more different sounds to the game and that's going to be mobs and my campfire or more campfires don't yet I don't know yet we'll see that's gonna be another time lapse am I drowning? no I'm perfectly fine Ladies and gentlemen, I think we have arrived at a point where we can be very, very happy. I am now more or less standing, well, my camera is more or less standing where it will be. And except for me, that's the view you will get and the sound you will get. So let me lower my voice. And let's decide together if this could be suitable for a one hour video. To begin with, I just noticed a birch tree to my right and I don't like it a bit. But let's now, let's. No, I think this could work. I am drowning again. I think this could work. Help. Okay. Uh, there's a few tiny details that we still have to fix. For instance, we have to activate the music, which we will do now. That's not how. Hang on. Options, music and sound. And... Give it a very subtle volume. I think that that could be enough. Yep, that could be enough. It will not immediately come into the game, but when it does, it will do so subtly. So look, this is where we are. I have to place my camera exactly right. No, I just have to kill that birch tree first. Yeah. Better. 
better. Yes. I don't see it anymore, I so it's better. I like it to find my perfect it. spots. I can see that custom tree. I can see the nice this tree. thing about I Minecraft oh, is that this is we will have way, our so. day and night cycle, and it will really contribute to having something to watch. It will make it even less boring and I don't think it's gonna be boring. I could watch it all day. So you know what? I think I'm ready to record. So let me address my viewers one more time. This is where we end. I have reached my goal through experimentation which happens there behind me and a lot of trial and error we have successfully made what we came out to do here and all that not so attractive stuff behind us is no problem because it's not visible also my cactuses don't really grow and if they don't grow they won't fall I'm totally not worried. Am I doing something wrong? Is it because of the sand? We'll never know. I... Ah! <laughs> it just grew. It grew on me. You get it? They're growing on me. And on that bombshell, it's time to end this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, think about me, will you? Goodbye!